Hi, I'm Chris Samarinas, a former researcher at the National University of Singapore and an upcoming PhD student at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. It's a pleasure today to present you our work on evidence retrieval for fact-checking. With the emergence of social media and many individual news sources online, the spread of misinformation has become a major problem with potentially harmful social consequences. Fake news and rumors can manipulate public opinion, create conflicts, elicit unreasonable fear, suspicion and confusion. In this work, we tackle the problem of automated fact-checking. The task is defined as follows. Given a textual claim and a corpus, a system must retain a set of relevant evidence sentences and a label, true, false, or inconclusive, depending on the determined truthfulness of the claim. The first motivation behind our work is the usefulness of an evidence retrieval system. Such system will be useful for human curators from fact-checking organizations, and for automatic content moderation on social platforms. The second motivation is the limitations of the current systems that tackle this problem. They rely on sparse retrieval, which can have impact on the recall because of synonym terms or phrases. And they often select supporting evidence of, on the sentence level, ignoring the meaning expressed across multiple sentences. Here is a quick demonstration of the system that uses web search results for open domain claim verification. Queen Plus verifies a given claim in four stages, passes retrieval from a corpus, sentence selection, and time classification, and the final evidence aggregation stage. In the evidence aggregation stage, we count the number of supporting and refuting evidence from multiple sources. When the number of retrieved evidence passages that entail or contradict the claim is low, we label the claim as inconclusive. If the number of evidence passages that support the claim exceeds the number of passages that refute the claim, we assign the label probable true, otherwise we assign the label probable false. The passage retrieval in Queen Plus is done using a dense retrieval model based on pairs. It creates dense vectors for passages by calculating their average token abandoning. The relevance of a passage D to a claim C is then given by the dot product of their abandings. We fine-tuned the BERT model on the recently introduced factual analyzed synthetic dataset by minimizing the sample softmax loss. Efficient large seal retrieval is possible using an approximate nearest neighbors index. We propose an experiment with two sentence selection methods. The first one is a non-contextual betting-based selection method that relies on the representations learned by the tense retrieval model. For a given claim C, we select the sentence from a given passage D whose relevance score is greater than some predefined threshold. The second approach is a context aware using a bet based sequence labeling model. The input of the model is the concatenation of the tokenized claim, the special separation token, and the tokenized evidence passage. For the output of the model, we adopt the bio tagging format so that all the irrelevant tokens are classified as O. The first token of an evidence sentence classified as B evidence and the rest tokens of an evidence sentence as I evidence. We train a model based on Roberta Large minimize the cross entropy loss. Our Queen Plus system utilizes a natural language inference model based on Roberta Large with a linear transformation of the CLS token abandoning. The entailment model was trained on the concatenation of three popular NLI datasets by minimize the cross entropy loss. We evaluate the individual components of Queen Plus, the retrieval, the sentence selection, and the entailment classification, and finally perform an end to end evaluation using various configurations. In these tables, we see the recall and the mean reciprocal rank of the passive retrieval models on the Fever and Factual NLI Plus datasets. 
We also compare the performance on a noisy extension of the fever dataset where additional passages from the Bing search engine are included as noise passages. We see that when noise passages are added to the fever dataset, the gap between the hybrid passage retrieval model in Queen Plus and sparse retrieval widens. This demonstrates the limitations of using sparse retrieval and why it's crucial to have a dense retrieval model to surface relevant passages from a noisy corpus. Overall, the hybrid passage retrieval in Queen Plus that uses the results from both sparse and dense retrieval keeps the best performance. Here we see the token level precision, recall an F1 score of the proportion and selection methods on the function NLI datasets in SciFact, a domain specific medical claim verification dataset. We also compare the performance to a baseline sentence level NLI approach, where we perform a term classification on each sentence of a passage and select the non neutral sentences as evidence. We observe that the sequence labeling model gives the highest precision recall and F1 score when testing on the function NLI dataset. Further, the precision is significantly higher than the other methods. On the other hand, for the SciFact dataset, we see that the sequence level method remains the top performer in terms of precision and F1 score after fine tuning, although its recall is lower than the embedding based method. This shows that the sequence labeling model is able to mitigate the high false positive rate observed with the embedding based selection method by taking into account the surrounding context. This table shows the performance of the term classification model when classifying the input evidence as supporting or refuting the claims. The input evidence can be in the form of the whole passage, crown truth evidence sentences, or sentence selected by our sequence labeling model. We observe that the term classification model performs poorly when the whole passage are passed as input evidence. However, when the specific sentences are passed as input, uh, the precision recall and F1 measures improve. The reason is that our entailment classification model is trained mostly on short premises. As a result, it does better on sentence level evidence compared to the longer passages. Apart from improved performance, sentence selection also provides better explainability. Finally, we carried out an end to end evaluation of our fact checking system on Function NLI Plus using various configurations of top K passage retrieval and evidence selection approaches. This table shows the macro average F1 score for the three classes, supporting, refuting, and neutral, for some of the test configurations. We see that dense or hybrid retrieval with evidence selection using the proposed sequence labeling model gives the best results. Even though hybrid retrieval seems to lead to slightly worse performance, it requires much fewer passages and makes the system more efficient. To sum up, we have presented Queen Plus, a three-stage fact-stacking system that is able to verify open domain claims using a large corpus or web search results. We have demonstrated how a dense retrieval model can lead to higher recall when retrieving passages for fact-checking. We have proposed two schemes to select relevant sentences, an embedding-based approach, and the sequence labeling model. A major limitation of Queen Plus that is that it's not able to verify multi-hop claims. To tackle this type of claims, methodologies inspired by multi-hop question answering could be utilized. You can check out the demo of our system and find the source code on this page. Thanks a lot for your time.